Hello year one and welcome to our English for this week. We are on a brand new story this week and we are going to look today at understanding some new vocabulary. That's new words that we might find in this story. The story is Superworm. You may already know this story and that's okay. If you don't know the story or even if you want to remind yourself, if you go onto our YouTube playlist, you will find the story of Superworm being told to you with all of the pictures and all of the writing. So if you go there now, have a look through it, have a watch through it, get to know the story a little bit and then come back and we'll have a go at the activity together. So we're looking at new words that we might find. So this word is the word disaster. So let's have a look at the writing and we'll see if we can hear the word disaster in the writing and then we need to figure out what it might say. So I'll read the words for you. Help, disaster, baby toad has hopped onto a major road. So did you hear the word disaster? See if you can point to the screen where the word disaster is. That's right, it's just up here. That's the word disaster. Now your job today is going to be to match the word with its meaning. So I've actually put all of the meanings down the side of the screen here for you to look at. Those are all the ones you need to know today. So have a pause of the video here and see if you can find disaster and what it might mean out of all of these things here. You might need an adult to help you to read them, but that's okay. See if you can find one you think that matches and then press pause when you're ready to have a chat about it. So the word disaster, wriggle or twist your body, don't think that works. Make a high screaming noise, I don't think we'd be able to say help, make a high screaming noise, would we? So that doesn't seem to work. Feeling sad, well I suppose they are feeling sad, but I don't think that would fit into that sentence. A rope with a loop at the end, well that's definitely not right. And we don't think it's very clever to be able to go onto a major road. Something bad that suddenly happens. Could a disaster be something bad? I think that probably would be right. So that would mean that this one here is the right answer. So when you're matching them up later, you'll need to match disaster with something bad that suddenly happens. Let's have a look at the next word. It says, look, a super worm lasso. And the word that we're looking for here is the word lasso. Now, if we use the clues, we might be able to tell that it's a thing. It's a noun because it's a superworm lasso. Now, what is superworm doing there? Looks like he might be trying to catch the baby toad and pull him quickly out of the road. So I'm wondering if there's something that might be on that list there that tells us something that might be able to grab hold of an animal or catch an animal. Have a look now and then press play on the video when you're ready to have a look together. I think you're right. I think it could be the same as a rope or with a loop at the end for catching animals because it can't be the others because the others aren't talking about a thing. And we've already used something bad that suddenly happens. So I think you're right. It needs to be a rope with a loop at the end for catching animals. A lasso, this word here would need to be matched up with a rope with a loop at the end for catching animals. Okay, the next word that we're listening out for is the word mope. So let me read you the page, see if you can spot the word mope. The bees are feeling bored today. They need a nice new game to play. Cheer up bees, no need to mope. Did you spot it? Yeah, it's just here right at the end. Now the bees are feeling bored, they don't know what to do. It's telling them to cheer up. Which one of these definitions or meanings down this side could that be? Have a little think and then press play when you're ready to move on. Okay, now does it mean that they're talking or grumbling quietly? Could it mean that they're feeling sad? Could it mean that they're making a high screaming noise? I don't think the screaming noise works, does it? No need to make a high screaming noise, but I don't think bees tend to do that. And I don't think they're talking or grumbling quietly. I think it's probably this one about feeling sad because it tells them to cheer up. So we'd need to match mope 
with feeling sad. Let's have a look at the next one. The next one that we're looking for is the word mutters. See if you can spot it. And if you spot it, brilliant. Then we can think about what it means. The chant is carried on the air to wizard lizard in his lair. He mutters in his servant's ear, find that worm and bring him here. Did you spot it? Yeah, just here. He mutters in his servant's ear. Sounds a bit like he might be talking, doesn't it? Hmm. OK, have a think. Which one does it match on those lists down the side? Yeah, I think it's got to be that bottom one. Talk or grumble quietly, because we just said, didn't it? It sounds like he's talking to his um, servant. But when you mutter something, you're talking or grumbling something quietly. You're muttering really quietly. OK, so let's move on to the next one. This word we're looking for is the word shriek. So let's see if you can spot it when I read it. The servant crow is black and grim. Everyone is scared of him. They all let out a fearful shriek to see their hero in his beak. Yep, it's just this one here, the word shriek. Now, it's about all of his friends letting out a shriek because they've realised that this superworm is being carried off by the servant. So what sort of a noise would this be? Because I think it would have to be a noise, wouldn't it? They all let out a fearful shriek. Wriggle or twist your body. Make a high screaming noise. Which one of those could it could work? I think you're right, we'd have to be make a high screaming noise. So we'd make we'd match up shriek with make a high screaming noise. Let's have a look at the next one. This one we're looking for the word writhe. And that's quite a tricky one because we don't use that word very often. But hopefully now we've got rid of some of those possibilities. So it might be a little bit easier now. The wizard waves his magic flower. Now superworm, you're in my power. And you must tunnel, writhe and coil to find me treasure in the soil. Did you spot the word writhe? It's a really tricky one because it's got a silent W at the beginning. It looks like it should say writhe, but it actually says writhe. Now, pause the video and see which one it could match. Now, there weren't very many you could have chosen because we've already done talk or grumble, grumble quietly. We've already said something bad that happens. There's a disaster. Clever. Now, we haven't used that one yet. A rope with a loop at the end for catching animals. I think that was the lasso, wasn't it? Feeling sad. We said that was when they, you were moping or the bees mope. Make a high screaming noise. We just said was a shriek. Wriggle or twist your body. We haven't used that one. So we've got clever or wriggle or twist your body. Now the wizard is telling him you must tunnel, writhe and coil. Let's see which one fits. You must tunnel, clever and coil. That doesn't seem to make sense, does it? And you must tunnel, wriggle or twist your body and coil. That one fits better, doesn't it? So writhe must mean wriggle or twist your body. And it's usually not a good thing. You wouldn't really think you were writhing in a good way. And I don't think you would be if you were trying to find the wizard some treasure in the soil, would you? Mm. Next one, let's have a look. We've got to look for the word cunning. Action, quickly, at the double, superworms in frightful trouble. We must help him if we can. We must hatch a cunning plan. And the word was cunning. It's this one right at the end here. They're trying to hatch a plan. What kind of a plan would it be? Pause the video, have a think, see which word matches. Well, you must be right because there's only one left. Look, the word clever. So cunning is another way of saying clever. We must hatch a clever or a cunning plan. So we've been through all of those different words. Disaster, lasso, mope, mutters, shriek, writhe, cunning. If you can't remember, you can always go through the video again. All you've got to do is draw a line between the word and what it means. If you're struggling, go back and watch the video again and it will help you. So match the words with the definition. And then we'll come back tomorrow to do some more work on superworm. Bye.